I'm uh, Dan Cervantes. I'm actually a physicist down at Crane. What I like to do in my free time is obviously astronomy. I've been uh, into astronomy since I was about eight, nine years old. So I always said I was going to move to Mount Palomar and, and live on the mountain. Well, I didn't quite get there, but I have the next best thing, which is my observatory in the backyard. What's nice about having a permanent observatory, particularly in Indiana, Indiana, its weather can change very quickly and you often will take your telescope outside, set it up, which takes a tremendous amount of time, a lot of equipment you have to carry around, a lot of it gets very heavy. Well, here, if the weather breaks, even for an hour, I can step out the back door, open up the observatory, and start observing within five or 10 minutes. And if the clouds come in, I close it up and go inside and I'm done. The best observatories are observatories that you can roll the whole roof off because it allows the temperature to be equalized between the telescope and the outside air, which is very critical in uh, observing because otherwise you get these air patterns that move around and it disturbs your image. It's a good telescope for viewing uh, the planets, but for the sun in particular, there aren't too many amateurs in the Midwest that can do what I'm doing in terms of solar observing because of the type of filters I have. Uh, I've done some photography as well of the sun, some Mercury transit and some uh, Venus transit both planets when they passed in front of the sun that were very interesting and, and had some good pictures, but it still doesn't match uh, being able to see prominences on the edge of the sun or to see solar flares, which I didn't even realize I would see solar flares. I was basically looking around the edge of the sun at the prominences, but all of a sudden I noticed the sunspots, it looked like somebody had turned a, a fluorescent light on them. I mean, literally, they lit up much brighter than the rest of the sun, and I couldn't believe it. They're actually flaring, and you could actually see them you know, kids want to come through and see. It's a nice way to teach science because if you can show kids this stuff, you can talk about it all you want. When they actually look at this and see the sun, they don't forget it. It's uh, not quite Mount Palomar, but it's the next best thing. So for Indiana, yeah, you can't beat it.